Well, so far, pretty early into the tropical storm season. And we'll check out our satellite pictures in a moment and let you know whether or not we'll see any development. Right now, we're just going to take a look back into history and show you uh, some interesting patterns here. During the last uh, decade, from 1981 to 1990, our major hurricanes were pretty well spaced out between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. We had very few major hurricanes, actually. M many people remember Hugo, since that was the most recent, but Gloria in 85, and Elena in 85, and uh, Alicia in 83 were the major hurricanes. Now, between 1961 and 1980, there were a lot more major storms, and they were primarily in the Gulf of Mexico. Several storms, including Camille and Frederick and Eloise and Betsy, just to name some of the storms. And again, in this particular season, these years, we saw them primarily in the Gulf of Mexico. Before that, from 1951 to 1960, a lot of these storms tended to uh, make their pass toward the Atlantic and the eastern United States. We had Carol and Hazel, a couple of the very strong storms, and Donna as well. And before that, in 1940 to 19, 1941 to 1950, most of our storms seemed aimed right at Florida and a few in the Gulf, one in the Atlantic. But it's interesting to look back over a period of time and see what the tracks are. We don't know what's going to happen this year, but we'll, we have a pretty good idea what's going to happen in the next 24 hours. So let's talk about something we know. Here's